Pay for your soul, my son. What's it gonna cost? It's not a bad idea, eh? It's not an idea. It sure beats the alternative. sort of ripped off from Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid a little bit, I think. I was glad to see those characters disappear like that in the <laughs> film. And when I saw the beginning of that scene, the hangman scene, I knew that his friend was going to be the hangman. It was that kind of predictable movie with no explanation, of course, of why he got there, how he was able to do it. Nate and Hayes, I suspect, with a very expensive production, lots of different locations, spectacular stunts like that. And yet its script, the essence of the movie, is awful, almost non-existent. And Tommy Lee Jones, he never gets into character. He's a fine actor but he comes across here more as a country singer than a pirate. And Michael O'Keefe, who played the padre there, the hangman, that fine young actor, he played uh, Robert Duvall's son in The Great Santini, he's awful here too. He seems so contemporary. And when two good actors stink in the same picture, well, you know, it's the picture's fault. Nathan Hayes is just awful. I'd like to pick up on the word contemporary. The people in this movie do not sound like they live in the 20th, in the 19th century. Yes. They're talking to each other like 20th century game show guests, you yeah. know, with little asides and, yeah. you know, kind of uh, putting each other down and so forth. The, the second thing is, the movie never finds a style. Either it could have been a thriller or it could have been a comedy. Push this movie a little further mm -hmm. and it could have done for the South Pacific what young Frankenstein did for monsters, but it never does that. Oh, they don't have it just, imagination. It just sits around limply, never really delivering on anything. Yeah, one action scene after another. You're right. Thumbs down on Nate and Hayes, the confusing and ridiculous pirate movie.